it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of December 21st through the 27th. So keep in mind, not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you, and the timing is fluid. So the timing I'm saying is for the week of the 21st to the 27th, but, you know, the timing could be off a little bit. So what do we have for Sagittarius? If you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas. If you celebrate the winter solstice, Happy Winter Solstice. So what do we have for Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For around the week of December 21st through the 27th. What do we have for Sagittarius? Balance. So this is the Justice card. Justice is about karma, it's about truth, it's about integrity, it's about finding balance in your life, okay? So there could be some truth that is coming out that brings you balance, okay? This is the laws of karma, everything turning out as it should. There could be some consequences. There's two sides to everything. Now, consequences could go for you, you know, towards another person, however that resonates with you. But... um this is, there could be news of legalities this week, but there's also a need to be honest and upfront when you get the justice card. Um, so this is all about justice and truth this week. And I'm not sure if the law is getting involved. It could be the karmic law. So there, there, the law is getting involved in your life in some way. Whether it's the actual justice system, you know, on this earthly plane, or it's the universal law, okay? So get prepared for balance to be restored however they see fit, okay? So it's going to be a very interesting time by the, by the looks of things. A fair and just decision is going to be made this week. However you look at it. Truth. Truth. Truth is coming out. The truth will be seen. Whatever the truth is. Oh, we got two. We're going to get one more. One more card for Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Look at that. Well, you got you got a good mixture here. You do. Nobody else has gotten this. I mean, you got one month of the year, one astral house, and one regular card. That, that never happens. Bear. Danger. Oh, boy. That's just what you want to hear, huh? Danger, especially in money matters. May is very prominent. I'm not sure if something started in May or something is going to happen in May of 2021, but May is a very prominent month. You could also be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini. Taurus and Gemini both have birth dates in May. Um, either way, the month of May is very prominent. Think back to what you did in May, okay, because there could be some sort of karma or justice that is coming for some sort of action. I'm not sure. Could be. Wealth, it's interesting because we're talking about money, danger, especially in money matters. So, yikes, I'm not sure what is going on here, but hopefully it's not that bad. The universe, this is a realignment of some sort, okay? The balance is a realignment, a need to even out the scales. There's a need to even out the scales in some way. Integrity is big, okay? So hopefully, I mean, if you've acted with integrity and you've been a good person, then there's nothing to worry about. I don't know if some of you are dealing with a Libra. You could be dealing with a Libra. That could be causing you some financial issues. Devil, Capricorn. You could also be dealing with a Capricorn. Now, this is materialism. This is toxic, unhealthy addictions. Somebody may have some addictions that are getting them in trouble. 
um, a need to break free from something. Somebody needs to find their determination to break free from something that is unhealthy. I don't know if there's some sort of punishment that is coming. I mean, I'm not trying to scare anybody. I'm just reading these cards. We have somebody here that is tied to a situation and they're angry. And it doesn't have to be you. It could be another person. Okay? There's some sort of obsession. Or this could even be a disaster. Okay? Or an addiction that leads to disaster. Somebody may have gotten themselves involved with something, you know, for instant gratification. And now they can't break free from it. They could be doing something that is against the law. You know, because that's the law. Justice is about the law. So, hmm. it doesn't have to be you. It can be somebody else, okay? We have Capricorn here. We have Libra here. Um, we also have Taurus and Gemini with that May card. So, it could be anybody. But, it could be anybody. It could even be another sign that I haven't mentioned. But, when you get the Devil card, there is some sort of toxic, unhealthy situation that needs to be taken care of. And, it needs to be taken care of right now. could end in death. Honestly, I'm just being honest with you. I know a lot of people don't want to hear honesty, but if you don't want to hear honesty, you, there's uh, so many other places that you can go watch and they will fill you up with bullshit. Just bend over. Anyhow. Nine of Pentacles reversed. So that's unstable. We have somebody here that's unstable. They're they're insecure. They're losing their ground. There could there's this is definitely a loss of financial stability. It is. Somebody is losing their financial stability or there there could be a loss of money or there's no money coming in. There's a need for discipline, but there's no grace here. We have somebody here that needs to take action, but they may have some sort of addiction that is getting in the way of their own success. Sorry, I gotta move a cord that's on the floor. You need to really listen. You need to listen to your listen to your gut. Or you need to listen to somebody else. Or maybe there's somebody that has some advice for you and you're refusing to listen. This addiction doesn't complete you. Whatever this, if, if it is an addiction, it could be also a toxic environment. Somebody may be in a toxic environment. Okay, maybe they work in that environment or they live in that environment. And there's codependency here. This is codependency and I don't really want to be alone. It's Perhaps it's better to be alone than in something where you're being manipulated or you're in under somebody else's control. Whew! King of Cups reverse. So you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio as well. Whoever you're dealing with does not have good intentions. We, we may have a drinking problem here. Somebody can't master their emotions. They're very, very unstable and they're in a un, they're, there's unhealthy behavior here. So somebody is doing something because of ego. This is a card of ego. Their ego is leading them. They're very unstable. So we have an unstable individual here. That I'm not sure. Hopefully, I don't know if somebody's getting drunk. They may. Hopefully, that's not. I don't know. Um, there is some sort of danger, especially. I mean, there's danger because we have danger here. Um, King of Cups reversed. There's there's somebody here that is. unable to master their emotions and they're going overboard it's like they're they're looking for some sort of ego boost they're looking for some sort of to be fed right they need to be fed they need to some sort of control somebody needs control eight of wands reversed oh my god Oh, this is bad news. It is bad news. You you may be receiving some bad news. I'm not sure if you're, if, you know. There definitely could be some bad news. There's lust. There's greed. There's ego egotism. 
materialism, financial insecurity, tied to a situation. Somebody is tied to a situation that is definitely uh, not emotionally fulfilling. Their secrets. Because the King of Cups in reverse is secrets. There could be messages. Somebody may be sending some secret messages. Okay. There's definitely some bad news here. You may receive some bad news this week. Just, I'm not trying to bring anybody down. But the Eight of Wands reversed is bad news. It could also, the bad news could be no communication. Okay. This could be a shutdown of communication. You know, somebody is totally shutting down, withdrawing, not communicating, not messaging. You know, this is going like no contact, perhaps. Could also be bad news. This is getting blocked. Somebody may be getting blocked, blocked communication. Um, the King of Cups in reverse has some secrets. So I don't know if you're dealing with a water sign that has some secrets. Doesn't have to be a water sign. It could be a Capricorn. It could be a Libra. There is somebody here that is keeping secrets. And I feel like they're very controlling. Very, con We have a very controlling energy here. There's emotional blackmail as well. So somebody may be getting emotionally blackmailed because by another person who is looking for control. So we have somebody here who needs an ego boost. Okay, and I feel like they're going to do something. I don't know, it feels like it's crazy. Um, let's see. Ooh, the star card reverse, and the star card reverse is depressed. We have somebody here that is depressed, very, very, very depressed. It's like they've lost their shine, they've lost their glow, they're in a deep, dark place. We definitely have somebody who's in a deep, dark place. They have no faith, they're depressed, they may be ill. There's some sort of ashamed and or guilt as well with these two cards being right together. We may have somebody here that's feeling ashamed and embarrassed, you know, and they're really needing a boost. Somebody needs a boost. This is a why, why, why is this happening? Somebody may, may be even saying though, you may be saying that, you may be saying that this week or something could happen. You may receive some news and you're like, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. This is a test of faith. It is with a star card reversed. I think your faith is going to be tested. Your faith in humanity. Okay? Your faith in humanity. Because a star card is about humanity. So I do feel like your, your, your faith in humanity is going to be tested. We have a very insecure, unstable individual who needs... feels like this person needs money. You know, needs some sort of security. And if it's not money, security is also from within. We have somebody here that is very emotionally insecure and they're probably financially insecure as well probably both and there's a there's a there's a deep deep desire to pretend because the devil is ruled from the shadow what you see is not what you get somebody wants to make it look like they have this you know they want to make it look like they are in control. They want to make it look like, you know, think about the devil. The de devil brings everything fancy, but it doesn't come from a good place. Okay? It may be fancy for a minute, but you, then, then it's all a trap. Okay? It doesn't last. So I think we have somebody here that is looking to make something look like it isn't. You know what I mean? They're going to make it. They want it to look good. They want something to look good, but they don't have the means to do that. I'm not sure if they're breaking the law to do so. You know? Um, Nine of Pentacles reverse. Very, very emotion, emotionally unstable. I mean, I can't. It is what it is. We have somebody here whose ego is, is so big and, and they're really having a hard time controlling themselves. And it's because they want to make it look like they maybe they're rich or that they you know make it look like they have this or that they can perform you know they want to make it something look good but it's all fake eight of wands reverse now that is jealousy it's jealousy we have blocked emotions here 
unhappy, a lack of wish fulfillment. Somebody's wishes haven't been fulfilled. So I, I, I don't know. What, what the hell is this? They've, they're depressed. They've lost hope. And they're begging or they, and they need. We have somebody here that is definitely struggling financially. Experiencing financial hard times. And it feels like they're in some sort of victim mentality. And they're looking for help. But nobody's helping them. So I feel like we I feel like we have a disaster ahead. I mean, I just I gotta tell you what I feel, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Hopeless. This is hopeless. Somebody is feeling very, very hopeless. It's like they they're they're wanting help, but they don't really want to um they want something to be given to them, but they don't have anything to give back. You know what I'm saying? There's neglect, there's abandonment, there's being left out in the cold. There could be somebody here that is really struggling very, 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 very much. We have somebody here that has nothing. It's like they have nothing to offer and they're, they may be feeling ashamed, they're feeling guilty. They just need, it feels like they want, they want to make themselves look good. I mean, that's what the devil is. They all could also be trying to bury, because that's a... The devil's about hiding things as well. May want to bury their emotions, okay? Because they're they're so unstable. So somebody's wanting to bury their emotions. Um, there could be drinking going on here, okay? Definitely drinking. You see all this the water, okay? So and the water can symbolize getting drunk or drinking. Um, somebody could get stopped, okay? Because of that eight of wands, they could get stopped. Um, the law is definitely could get involved this week. So if you are thinking about drinking and driving, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't. Okay, and, and that's not going to be for everybody. There's definitely some financial hard times here. And I don't know if it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. And there's also poor health. Okay, we may have somebody that feels like they are a social outcast. And there's consequences for actions. It feels like nobody wants to help. Nobody wants to help because somebody may have said some things or done some things that now there's no trust. Now there's no faith. So I, I, I feel like this week um, you do need to be careful, especially with a devil card coming out first. Somebody could get angry, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. Okay, and I do see illness here as well. Definitely, 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 definitely. We have somebody here that, that, that could be becoming ill. Okay, and, and depression and stress causes illness. And there could even be mental illness. All right. Um, but I see abandonment, being left out in the cold, nobody, nobody wanting to help. And feeling like this is a hopeless situation because, you know, somebody has, I feel like there's been some sort of abuse, emotional abuse or blackmail. You know, and who wants to, who wants to help somebody who blackmails? Nobody, nobody. So I feel like this is somebody in your circle. I feel like this is somebody's in your circle. It feels like they're losing control or, or something like that, or they're unable to master their emotions. They may send messages or make calls or do something that gets them in trouble. You know, and I don't, I don't even know if it's just messages. Uh, let's get some more cards. Um, Angry, definitely. The devil gets angry when they don't get what they want. So somebody may be trying to force something. Yeah, something to do with money for sure. Somebody just wants money. They don't have any money. They don't have any stability. They're very, very unstable. It feels like they're... They, I don't even know. For some of you, there could be a theft here. Okay? Um... Somebody has wasted their money. They've wasted their money. And now it's like, why, 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 why? Because they, they, they weren't able to stop themselves. There's some sort of addiction. And spending can be an addiction. Materialism can be an addiction. Alcohol, drugs can be an addiction. This is somebody who doesn't have, we have somebody here who doesn't have any money. And they're having, they're having regrets. 
and they're feeling hopeless and they may be thinking about doing something against the law or they may be self-medicating and get themselves into more trouble. Whatever this addiction is, it's caused financial loss. And there's a need to get grounded. There is. There's a need to stop. Anyhow, what is going on here? Letting go, opening up. Somebody is feeling depressed, very, very, very depressed. Um, now, the Three of Wands is get prepared. Get prepared for some sort of arrival or a departure. It's either an arrival or an apart a departure. Something that you have been waiting for. Maybe you've sensed it coming. Something that you have been waiting for is arriving or it's leaving. It could, be, could go either way. I feel like somebody is, is going to be coming and asking for something. It feels like they're, they're looking at something or they're hoping, they're hoping for, you know, a handout. This is like a handout. Somebody's hoping for a handout. And it feels like when they don't get it, they get very, very, very upset. This is looking for a handout. Somebody is looking for a handout. And perhaps you don't have anything to give. What is this Eight of Wands reversed? Feeling guilty. Feeling guilty. You may feel guilty for not helping somebody. Don't feel guilty. You got to take care of yourself. Oh, Eight of Cups, saying goodbye. Somebody's saying goodbye. I was going to say it with this card, too. Saying goodbye. Somebody's leaving. They're, they're leaving an emotionally disappointing situation behind. They're letting go. I feel like they have no choice. I feel like they have no choice. I think it's because the other, maybe it's the other person that is leaving. Somebody is leaving. They're leaving, and uh, if you take a look at this, where it's, it's mirroring this King of Cups reverse, they're, they're leaving an, an emotion, they're looking at an, an emotionally unstable individual. Definitely. This is very disappointing. So this is, this is literally letting go. It is, it is leaving. It's, I can't do this anymore. Going no contacts, no more communication, uh, blocking, um, needing to break free from some sort of toxic energy. Um, I feel like you've been you've been waiting for this. You've been waiting for this freedom, whatever the hell it is. You've been tied to a toxic situation with an individual. I don't know who this individual is, but they use emotional blackmail as a tactic. And I feel like it is, it's, it's the communication with this person, the, uh, there's no moving forward with this person. I feel like this person is, uh, I don't know if this person is ill or if they're sick or what is going on. But it feels like this person is leaving your life. Or you're leaving theirs. This is this is like giving up, 
with the four of pentacles reversed and, and the star reversed it's giving up somebody is giving up it's like goodbye Whatever is happening does have to do with karma and justice. Everything is going to turn out as it should. Good luck. 